Right now, there are around 350 families across the country who have children diagnosed with a genetic disorder called Syngap-1. It affects the brains of patients, leaving them with a range of symptoms from seizures to autism. Tracy McPeer tells us why researchers say it's a hugely underdiagnosed. Today is Syngap-1 Awareness Day. It's a rare genetic disorder you may have never heard of, but some parents in Atlanta are working to change that. Are we trying to help make your brain happier? Yeah. Yeah. Meet Suzanne and Brent Jones and their 12-year-old daughter, yeah. Jansen. Do you sometimes have a hard time behaving? Yeah. Do your parents love you dearly? Mm-hmm. Yes. When Jansen was just four months old, the Jones noticed she wasn't using her arms and legs and started um, asking questions. Time, we were told lots of kids are delayed, this happens. You know, just get her some therapy and everything will be fine. So the Jones started therapy for Jansen and a journey to diagnose her that would last a decade. The low muscle tone, um, the speech and language disorder. We added epilepsy when she was four or five. When you're dealing with a nine, 10 year old that was still biting and spitting, you're like, this is, you know, this doesn't seem right. For 10 years, they looked for answers. We talked to our geneticist who said that, that there is now whole genome analysis available. That test finally gave them the right diagnosis. Jansen had a gene mutation, Syngap-1. And I Googled it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. It literally listed out everything, all of, all of the issues that we've been dealing with. It listed it out and I started crying. Since she is lacking enough protein in her brain, her neurons fire wildly and they go haywire and that causes the memory and learning issues, as well as a whole list of disabilities. Emory geneticist Dr. Rosanna Sanchez says genetic testing is crucial for a proper diagnosis of this mutation that was only discovered in 2009. So I am learning alongside the families. Because it's so new. Because it's so new. The symptoms of Syngap-1 are extensive. They include everything from developmental delay and mobility issues to epilepsy and autism. Right now, the number of patients in America with Syngap-1 is only 350, but Dr. Sanchez says awareness will change that. And I do believe the numbers that you're going to see of people being diagnosed are going to grow. A lot of these kids haven't been discovered yet. And while there's no cure yet, Joan says gene therapy and medicine could help. Improve their brain function and do something about the fact that they're missing the Syngap protein. Today, Jansen swims, plays buddy baseball, and rides horses as part of her therapy, while Suzanne chairs the board of the Syngap Research Fund to raise awareness and find a cure to help Jansen and all the other children living with Syngap 1. As it's a time for us to celebrate, it's a time for us to realize that there is hope and that, and that we do have a community and to sort of like dig in and keep working. To learn more about the symptoms and treatments for Syngap-1 and to find out how you can be part of a cure, just go to our website, 11alive.com. Indicator, Tracy A. McPeer, 11alive News.